Hi, welcome back, my dear friends. Today, I'll be reviewing Cordrath, The Reckoning by these guys. And this book was a slog to get through. I will explain why. Upon opening the first page here, you could see you are just bombarded with information. It is the history of this world, and it is just far too much. To me, the first page of a book sets the tone, and this tone is nauseating especially considering when you turn to the next page, you get more history now about Kordrath and his tribe. It's just like so much to learn all at once. It's baffling. This page could as easily have just read The Shattered Reach. I'm like, cool, now I know where we're at. What's next? Oh, now I'm learning about Kordrath's tribe. Like this amount is decent, but not followed up by all this. I equate this to... You're meeting someone for the first time. You say, hi, what's your name? Cordrath. Cool. Where are you from? I'm from the Shattered Reach. It's where the fairest of the races, the elves flourished in the force. And the hardy dwarfs continue to mine the currency of the lands, but really leave their mind. You'd be like, whoa, dude, relax, man. All I said was, where are you from? Not like, what is the history of the entire place where you're from? Like, that's what this reminds me of. I want to know where I'm at in the story. Tell me all this shit as it becomes important later on. So my second um, biggest gripe would then be the dialogue itself. It's just written so poorly. I don't like it at all. It's just comes off as just exposition all the time from, from everyone. Everyone talks the same, and it's almost like there is no subtext. There's no history between anyone. It's just, this is the things we need to say, or this is what I'm doing. I will now explain it. Here's an example. So we got Cordrath's woman. All right. This part I like, because it says, Cordrath, my love, what in the nine hells happened? So first time we're meeting her, we do get like a little bit of information here, my love. So we do like know that that's his woman. That's good. So now we move to this dude who's dying. He was injured in battle. And to me, this should be pretty urgent. Like time is at the utmost importance right now. So let's heal this motherfucker. What do we get? So she says, it's already infected. I think they used a poison. These need magic now and not herbs. Cordrath says, damn magic. I don't understand. What will you summon? She says, summon, no, my love, I am a channeler. Magical energy is never created or destroyed, but simply channeled and directed into useful forms. I can channel the positive spiritual, also called life energy, from people or any living thing to help heal and rejuvenate others. In this case, also remove the poison. Bah, and he's dead because you took so damn long to explain all this. Oh, and then in the next panel, then she says the magical words that, um, make the spell like you couldn't do that first <laughs> like you couldn't just say one single sentence and then maybe like explain all this shit here like later on when like the guy's like thanks for saving my life instead it's just like bitch shut the fuck up save me like and, and also i don't like this it's like so you're what will you summon it's like no, my love, I'm a channeler. So they have a history in a relationship, and this is the first time he's ever hearing about this. Please get out of here. This is so, like, not how you write. This is amateur to me, and the whole thing has dialogue throughout the entire story that's like that. So here's another thing of just entirely too much information that means nothing. So we get to this bar. These dudes say that they're the... Scarlet of Vengeance, and then they go, let's stand up and introduce ourselves, which then they cut to a panel of them not standing. But then each of them in, like has this whole information where they talk about their name and a tidbit, and then we never see them again. Completely pointless. Like, that's fine. You know, these guys might appear in a later book. Cool. So maybe just a brief introduction of just what they're called scarlet of vengeance and maybe one of them says kind of like what they're doing in this world instead of all this information here that 
uh, eventually, if they come up in another book, we'd have to learn about them all again. It's pointless. Adds nothing to the story. If I was the editor of this book, I would cut all of this, all this dialogue, all this text by a quarter. It would flow better. It would let like panels breathe because I sometimes like there are some panels pages where I just feel like I'm just attacked with text and it's just like could you let like could you let the page breathe like Cordrath is talking so much and explaining everything he's doing the whole time and recently I read X Wilder John by Nick Patara and in that book he doesn't even talk the main character it's just silent from him and i feel like i connected and learned more about him than all this exposition shit that cordrat spouts the entire time so we get to the bad guy here and he is watching this battle occur that he set up and then he just talks to no one i guess he just says this out loud he says, uh, their shaman has potent magic. He is removing my pieces off the board faster than I can create them. Could create them. That will stop now. Okay, cool. Thanks, dude. Thanks for explaining everything that like we just saw happening over here. Like you have nothing else to add to this. He's just saying exactly what like we already saw. There's no subtext. There's no how does he feel about it. You know, is he mad about this? I don't even know. He seems pretty calm, actually. And uh, what's another example? Here we go. Another dude that's hurt. This dude's dying. And so you could see he's definitely badly hurt. So they're trying to save him. I mean, to me, you should probably be like laying down like... Let me recover. Let me like gather my strength. And instead it's like uh cough, succubus, you say, what in the uh, nine layers of hell has been set afoot? What does she have to do with anything? Then he says all of this, which I'm not reading because it's completely unnecessary. And let me try to also show you this. He says so much that they had to change the font size of the text like if you see how big like the text is here compared to this so like this dude's saying so much that they're like we gotta shrink the font size what the fuck like that is way too much especially since he's supposed to be dying like in his last breath he goes oh, let me explain all this first <laughs> that's kind of this book it's unfortunate because the plot is cool. I do like the plot. The drawing's pretty decent. I like the drawing. Designs are cool. There's a lot to like here. But when you're bogged down with just so much pointless either exposition or information that just info dump after info dump that you just go, okay, like I can't even, I don't know. I'm not, I can't keep up with all of that. Like I'm not trying to learn so much all in like one single page or one single paragraph, like kind of feed me some information throughout the story so that, you know, I'm more engaged with the story of what's happening and not just trying to like read a history book at times. So where I think the book could improve because the ending does something that I'm not going to spoil. And I'm like, Oh, okay. That had the most personality out of the whole book. The like last three, four pages, whatever. That's when I was like kind of chuckling a little and going like, oh, this is cool. This is like, you know, a little bit different. I like this where you're going with this. Interesting. The rest of the book, like I feel like they don't have personality. So that like slight little twist thing at the end, it would have been cooler if that happened like 10 pages into the book. You find out what's really happening and maybe like, you know, it's so hard to say without spoiling, but like if I would have been given the information of what's really happening, like 10 pages in, then like it would have added like some levity and maybe you like cut back to them every now and then and you like laugh or chuckle. And to me, that would feel a little more fresh. It might, you know, 
help break up some of the monotony of just um, exposition and learning about the world constantly. If we we're going back to what the other people are doing, I don't know. I feel like that had the most personality. I would have liked to have seen more of that. Overall, the book, a C. It's not the worst thing, but, you know, future installments could use a lot of improvement. Thanks for watching.